<sighs> Hi guys. Good morning. We have a lot to do today. Is my hair giving cray? Probably. But no, yeah, it's Sunday. I got back yesterday from North Carolina because I was there for my brother's graduation. And then now it's Sunday. I work tomorrow and then I leave Tuesday. So it's crunch time, baby. We need to pack. Thankfully, I have like a bunch of outfit ideas already, but like nothing's been like packed. Little unlike me, but that's okay. We're gonna get it done and it'll be great. It'll be great. Last night I went through all my like travel size toiletries and my toiletries in general. Made a list of all the things I need to get. I was to pick up my contacts yesterday, but their hours were different. So I have to go today. I have to go to Target, try to get some travel size. I feel like their travel size section is usually a little bit better. We've got to get a little morning breakfast, a little morning coffee, might get a smoothie. Also, holy shit. It literally, from when I left, New York was like hottest in the 70s, 75. Now it's like 90s and I don't know if I'm gonna try to lift my AC up from my basement and put it in. Pray for me, but it is hot in here. So I'm gonna have this fan going probably in some of the video clips and outfit planning. I hope that doesn't annoy y'all, but yeah, we're doing a pack with me. We're doing outfits, plan outfits, little brainstorm behind my process, all of that. But right now we're going to get breakfast, going to Target, going to get toiletries. I have to mail a letter. I could just find like a, mailbox just like a just like a post office mailbox because all the post offices are closed to actually go in so i just need one of those blue boxes you guys know what i'm talking about today's outfit is a little bit unhinged we're just um throwing on something comfy something easily something easily take on and off while i'm changing trying on outfits i really just put this together in two seconds so i was clothed to film this clip and so that i can even go to target so okay let's go Oh my god, look at this man in a cowboy hat and roller skates. Pardon me, it wasn't a cowboy hat, it was a fedora. I got Jews generation. She's basic, but does the trick. Cheers. If you hear the fan, I'm trying to run all my fans in my house. It's hot as shit. Um, okay. Target haul. God damn. Wrinkle release. My literal. <laughs> Y'all gotta be motherfucking kidding me. Y'all gotta be kidding me. Bought this little travel size thing. I'm gonna put some of my pawns. Cold cream, which I use as makeup remover, and this little guy. But I want to show you my wrinkle release, drop my wrinkle release in the tub. So give me a moment. Actually, per, we're not wasting. I wanted like a little, I wanted like a one of these, like a little jar for the cold cream. Couldn't find it. Got some more contact solution, a little Bio True, a little lint roller. I don't know if I'm gonna fucking need this. I saw it and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna need it. Girl, probably not sunscreen a big one but it's three fluid ounces so it's fine a little neutrogena invisible defense daily 60 spf babe i'm not getting sun poisoning again that happened in miami never forget it once you have sun poisoning you're like way more susceptible to getting it again when you get a burn and you're just way more sensitive so i'm gonna try to wear way more sunscreen than i usually do i've had these for forever you can see they're like kind of empty so I just refill them and I actually ran out so I bought new ones. I'm just gonna refill them, whatever. I know, I just ideally wanna save plastic and should just buy those like refill. I need to like transfer all my products over to those like eco-friendly refilled products. You know, those cool brands that just have, sell like refills of things and you guys know what I'm talking about. First aid kit, who fucking knows? I saw it, usually just bring band-aids with me, but I saw this and I was like, you know what, yeah. Let's do it. So, bought that shaving cream. I usually just shave with <laughs> conditioner when I'm traveling, but again, saw it and was like, yeah, I should probably scratch my sus ways and actually commit. Okay, I'm gonna wash this off, but wrinkle release, if you haven't fucking tried this stuff, really good. 
And I'm gonna put this, I have my little daub kit. Is that what it's called? Daub kit? I have my little daub kit right in front of me. I'm gonna put this all in it, organize it. Ooh, I'm actually so excited to organize it. Yep. Let me get sorted, babes. And then we'll do the fun part, which is outfits. Okay, love ya. I'm this dedicated to the bit. It's not a bit, it's just my eyebrows. Um, I labeled it 30 developer. I'm bringing my toner developer powder bleach for my eyebrows because I refuse to have crusty looking eyebrows when I'm there. I just want them to be, I want them to be looking fresh. So I'm bringing enough to just do them once more while I'm there and I'm gonna do them like literally the day we leave. Okay, this outfit I knew I wanted to wear since I bought this top. This is a one-off sample Tyler McGillaberry top that she sold at her sample sale and I copped it because I loved it. So I'll show you guys the fit right now. After I show you guys the fit, throwing on a bit of Harry's house. What do we think? What do we think about that one? I like it. I think it's catchy. It didn't blow me away. I think I was expecting a little bit more. Yeah. So I'm gonna give it another listen. Um, I think the hardest part of this outfit is going to be the shoes. I have no idea what shoes I'm going to wear with this, but here's the top of the skirt. It's full time on McGillivary. Ignore the little piles here. So this top, you can wear it like upright, but I'm not into that. I'm feeling more of the off the shoulder vibe, which is cute. In the back, you cinch it. It's not laced up the right way, so I need to do that. But when I lace it up all the way, I'm gonna like really try to make it snatchy snack. And I'm still debating like maybe opening up some of these guys and wearing it like open. Because I feel like this outfit needs a little bit of skin or else it's gonna look like a little mini dress and it looks a little too fancy for a music festival. So I'm definitely gonna wear this to Primavera Sound one of the days. So that's also why I don't know what shoes to wear. This is our berry skirt in orange and purple. And I love, love, love it. It's part of the new collection, the Unnatural collection that we just dropped at Tyler. And it's so cute. I'll link it in the description. It's one of my favorite pieces. The dress is so cute too. So cute. And I'm wearing a size medium, if you're wondering. This would be hella cute if I had a belly button piercing. <laughs> like if it like just opened up on the belly and then I had like a little dangly belly button piercing moment. I don't know. I'll probably do some sort of hair up so then I can like layer some necklaces or something of sorts. This is too different of an orange, right? I mean, it's not bad. Could be kind of cute. I'm bringing like all my ribbons and stuff. So this could be like a game time decision on how exactly I'm accessorizing. Like, would these work? Like, are these insane? Like, I'm scared, but I also like might have to work. As I pack, I take photos of each outfit, log it, this is a 18 day trip situation and I'm gonna have multiple days where I switch my outfit from like day to night because you know, things can get jumbled up in the suitcase and you forget about certain outfits. So I want a good log of everything. I'm gonna put these like by my suitcase and figure it out. But while I'm packing shoes and finalizing that, I'll go through all my outfit pictures and stuff and be like, okay, that can go with that, that cannot go with that, etc. These are the brand Merrill. I'll also link these below. This is really when I wish I had skims. Like, okay, hi guys. I just put this on temporarily because I was in a bikini top. I'm definitely packing this. This dress I thrifted. Absolutely gorgeous, and I've only worn it once in Miami, so thought I'd bring it. But I want to talk about these pants that Noelle sent me. She's a designer. Here's her Instagram. They're the most stunning pants I've ever seen in my life, and I built this whole outfit in my mind around it, including styling it with this corset that I bought off Depop. I'll put the Depop right here. Yeah, it's gonna be insane. But as you can see here, yeah, the pants, they're not getting over my ass. They're not getting over my ass. I tried to put on, oh, I put on these um, spandex cause like they're super slippery to put on and then it like almost got on. So I'm praying here in my boyfriend who's back in Massachusetts, if he can scoop me up some like Spanx at like Macy's or something. And I'm really hoping then I could like scoop them on, zip them, and like, it'll be good. Aren't they just the most gorgeous pants ever? Like, come on, picture with a, uh, just, mm. and then the, 
the pearl choker you guys know i'm like freaking i have a vision so i'm literally praying these fit me i'm thinking they'll fit my waist literally perfectly like might suffocate it'll be so worth it wow my farmer's tan is really still prominent i gotta get rid of that this is just from kieran's graduation anyways noelle sent them to me so i could style them so i've been messaging noelle like back and forth and she's like, don't worry if it rips, like, you'll be fine. Just, like, do that extra pull. Because, like, I'm almost there. I just need to do, like, the foomph, you know? So I'm going to try him on with Kieran's assistance once he gets here tomorrow. Hopefully with the Spanx. He's the sweetest. Thank you, Kieran. I have one outfit packed. And it is 1 p.m. So I'm tweaking. Really wanted to shout out Noelle. Whether I end up wearing these and getting them on or I can't. I'm literally obsessed with them. And I think they're gorgeous. And they're a dream. And I appreciate Noelle so much for sending them to me. Unreal. This is a hint of what... No, I got coming. I'm like, sign me up. Okay, I needed this because not being able to fit those pants on my body was like not cute for for the mental stamina right now because I have to get going, but I needed this. I love how this outfit's coming out. I'm not even like halfway done with styling this, but I need to show you guys. Okay, so ignore my room. Um, the chaos has begun, but when I say bimbo renaissance, I mean, I'm obviously referencing these. Monsieur Ronnie Hart. I'm trying so hard to embody that this summer with my style. I just love everything about it and I feel like it's like the perfect description of like what I want my style to kind of be these days. And so this skirt, it like zips up and it's like high waisted. I hate it, you know? It like, this skirt needs to be low waisted. It just like screams that. What I thought was cute was kind of like flipping it over as one does with like jeans these days. And then I can like cover the, the zipper with this military belt that I actually got when I was in Pittsburgh two weekends ago when we stopped at Three Rivers Vintage. I'll show you the rest of the pieces that I got. I think it was two other pieces that I'm both going to bring. So I'll obviously show you. This leotard's from Discount Dance, by the way. I can link in the description. It comes in a bunch of different colors. But I was trying to find accessories that kind of match this dusty pink to pull it out and like kind of connect it all. Um, this neck piece was an obvious yes, but I thought layering it with the black one would be cool to tie in the tight that I added before. And these are just fishnets with a little pink ruffle. Obviously I wanna do more accessories, necklaces, earrings. I think hair up though. I'm like liking the way the hair up is looking with this, loving it. And if you hate it, don't let me know. Actually, you can let me know. I don't really care because I love it. And I just put it with these cowgirl boots, which like are brown and there's no brown in this outfit. I kind of justify it because my hair is brown. So it kind of ties it in. I'm thinking these will be the boots that I end up bringing. So I love the witchiness that it adds to with the pointed toe. That's so major, in my opinion. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. Call me crazy, but I'm planning my like beach beach looks because we're going to the beach when we're in south of france and then potentially when we're in barcelona so i'm bringing like two to three i said i'm bringing out the thong bottom i'm thinking i'm gonna wear this menaces little bikini which is so cute and fits so flattering with my fucking bonnet babe like i just think that'll be such a funny little pick and like beach moment I don't know. And then I have this cute little tube top that matches the bikini really well that you can wear like over it. Also, these two neck pieces are made by Kate. Here is her Instagram and she's selling a bunch more because she made a bunch of new collars as part of her new collection that she just dropped. And I modeled for and I actually vlogged. So go buy some shit, everybody. And if I ever forget to say where anything's from in this video, just comment down below and I'll let you know ASAP. So, cause clearly I'm a little scrambled. That's okay. Kind of trying to do like another layered, fun, bimbo renaissance inspired outfit because this skirt really gives me that. I got this at the clothing flea market in Greenpoint, right outside Tired Thrift and Woe Vintage and all of that. This like crochet bra top that I have that I always like love to wear with fun skirts and things like that. And then I knew I wanted to wear my butterfly belt with this skirt. So I wanted to go with that. And then, weirdly enough, I had bought this silver blouse that has a very similar kind of like burnt orange color palette moment happening. Basically like a postcard from Hawaii and it has like written notes all over it, which I think is really cool. I bought it at Three Rivers Vintage in Pittsburgh um, when Kieran and I were there just last week. And I don't know, I thought it looks kind of cool. I feel like the silver pulls out the silver in the belt. And then we have like gold in other places. I like the mixing of it all. I added this cross that had broken, but I still use it as a charm. I feel like I could do, I could pin it 
under both collars and have it hang in kind of like the center so I'm gonna play with that I just wanted this to be charmy and a lot of layers and things like that which I think is what we're doing but I'm not like super thrilled with it I feel like with cool hair and makeup it'll definitely help like either like a Kangol hat this hat fits the like colorway really well but like it's fur. The boots are my Jeffrey Campbell ones, by the way. I'm liking this little blousey number. This I got when I was in Paris abroad. Very much has all the colors kind of in this outfit, so I think it works really well. Connect the collar and then have the cross hanging down or figure out how to put it on my bikini and have it hang down kind of like this. I'll bring this and the silver top and it'll just kind of be a game time decision on which one I'm feeling. I think this might be the third Primavera Sound outfit or just like, going out little number or something but this three piece is this brand i'll throw it right here their shit is so cool these are like i wish you could see oh yeah you can kind of see that like popcorny this fabric is like super comfortable grunch pantaloons but you could like make them high-waisted if you want i think them low-waisted is kind of cool because they're like a little bloomer so it's kind of unexpected that they would be like low-waisted and kind of sexy but like if you do like a little black thong which i'm like thinking about that could be kind of fun and then yeah this is like their little boob top that they make and then i just tied it around my neck to make like a little choker and then this top opens i just crisscrossed it but you can definitely play with like how you want to tie it with some sunnies i think these with my union jack like make it a little bit more casual so we'll see if i can bring those slash fit them to be extra i have lacy gloves that like i may as well throw in this is the set that rissa sent me from her brand i'll put it right here these are the bloomers and then this is the bikini top I love it's so cute. I'm thinking of doing it with this little fringy corset to kind of make it fun like that And then I think I'll wear this bra maybe like with this skirt Which I originally bought to put with the corset, but it doesn't match the white correctly enough and I don't love that so We'll try both of these outfits on like this to me is just Me it's making it a little bit more clowny Western costumey, but like I love that so red lip and then i think i could do sneakers like it would be so fun with like a platform heel like you guys know i would ideally like go crazy with the shoe the red doesn't match perfectly but it pulls out kind of like the darker red in the boots potentially but, like it's a no bag kind of vibe but like you guys know i need to bring a bag and i'm gonna bring this prop this bag which kind of pulls in this similar kind of pattern from the boot which is like a lot smaller and more dainty which is kind of cute these have actually walked a bunch in and they're fine so like, why do I feel like if I'm doing these boots with it, I need something to, like, gothicify the top part? It's a lot of, like, mixing vibes, but there's something about it that's kind of cool. I don't know. Accessories, again, will be game time decision, but it definitely ties in the bag as well as the boots. So, it's a maybe. This is a little Betsy Johnson number that I bought off Depop for a little date night fit that I think I'll just wear with my black pumps. I'm gonna figure out accessories for this, but I'm just throwing in my bag. This slip dress that I bought at Three Rivers Vintage when Kieran and I were there. It's just this really gorge cream, like ivory, whoa, slip dress. It has like some stains and imperfections but i kind of like it it was literally 30 dollars, and it looks like so vintage and gorgeous some stains but that's okay this is going in the suitcase the last thing i got from three rivers is another kind of slippy looking dress but it's different i'll i'll grab it and show you guys from the 1900s and it was 42 dollars. their prices are truly insane um and it's just this long gorgeous gorgeous cotton dress that buttons in the back this is like an undergarment from the 1900s um so it wasn't necessarily supposed to be worn on the outside um but that's how i'm going to wear it with like a really pretty bra and underwear or like a bloomer again kind of similar to the other one i just showed you but um i just thought it was like actually too gorgeous to pass up and it fit me like a glove i really wanted to go to like screaming mimi's to get like cute undergarments um to wear under this but i really just did not have time so i'm packing all my cutest undergarments and gonna <laughs> pray that some work under this hi sorry they have the Spanx brand if you want that oh do they have better looking Sorry. ones 
it's in a package, but I feel like it would probably be what you want. Is it? Okay. Let's do that. That yeah, sounds good. Okay, work. Let's try those. Thank you. Right. Yeah, of course. The boyfriend of the month. Hey, vlog. <laughs> Slay. Okay, thank you. King right there just went to Macy's and got me some spanks. So I can get into those damn pants. Anyways, um, yeah, this dress is fucking gorgeous and I literally cannot wait to wear it. Do it like a South of France moment. I don't know. I think for just like extra little things, I'm gonna bring my fancy club little tights. I apologize to anybody who's from the UK and the queen herself for what you're about to see. Yeah, I'm not gonna wear this all together. Don't worry, everybody. Just wanted to commit to the bit. Although I do kind of like it. These are literally so funny. I found these out of Savers, you guys. <laughs> okay, I didn't order them. They found me. I did order the bra though. Literally too perfect. Genuinely don't know like what the vibes are in the UK. Like, is this gonna be like silly or is this like go home? Like you're for being weird. I have so many layers of sweat on my face. Actually, I look like unwell. <laughs> I honestly want to just wear the sparkly bra out one night with like my white track pants. Like I feel like the slip is good for the leggings because you can't really see them. They're not as like in your face. What do I wear under this slip? Like this slip is so annoying because it's like, girl, what am I supposed to do about my titties? Okay, I'm wearing my Rissa label track pants and then I'm just gonna wear this white tank top over the bra so that it pops through. But the sequins don't hurt because my arms don't brush up against it and it's just on the one side. So it's actually quite comfortable. Hi guys. So I'm pretty much done packing clothing things up. Um, gotta finalize shoes and toiletries and chargers and things like that. But other than that, Pretty much done. I added some just like random outfits here and there that I didn't end up showing you guys because they were super quick and casual or whatever. You hear the ice cream truck? Yeah, I'm sweaty, I'm gross, I'm hungry. I'm going to meet my brother and get some pizza and sit in the park and then come back, shower, and then finish up the rest. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And we will be in Europe. And I am unbelievably excited and so excited to take you guys along. If you want to see these outfits and how I end up finally styling them, um, this is my Instagram. And I'll be posting a whole bunch on there um, throughout my trip and stuff like that. Like, comment, subscribe. We're almost to 10K, people. Very exciting. Always grateful for you guys, your support, and your energy. You guys are the best. Love yous. Have a fabulous rest of your week. And happy Monday, if you're watching this when I post it. Okay, love you. Bye.